Hey creative friends, it's Rebecca here again and I've got another NFC tag that I've been working on. I think I have finally uh, gotten this one to work. This is another one for my teenage son um, that will hopefully help him out. He spends a lot of time every morning getting in the car setting up his music. Um, he's He's installed this pretty cool little audio player in his car and so just to help save him time this tag is going to do three things. It's going to turn on Bluetooth if it's not already on it's then going to connect to his car stereo and then third it's going to launch the amazon music app um and so i've finally have gotten this uh those set of three things to work and i'll show you in a minute but i'm using an app called tasker to accomplish this but if you can see this right now um just to prove to you my the bluetooth is off on this phone and so then we're going to scan the tag and I'll show you it's going to uh, well we won't see it necessarily but it's going to turn on Bluetooth and then it will uh, eventually here connect to the car stereo and it's going to launch uh, Amazon Music and all that's going to happen pretty much instantly when I scan the tag so uh, let's let's go ahead and give this a try so I'm going to hold the tag here I'm going to scan it with my phone and it tells me that it did a tasker and then if you can see it Amazon music just came up um, it has connected to the car and it is playing already so I'm gonna go ahead and mute this so I don't get copyright issues but but it works so here's Am Amazon music has loaded it already had a uh, song they're playing and if you could hear it it was playing in the car speakers because I am uh, connected via Bluetooth um, and if I can yeah see now you can see up here if I can focus you can tell that oh, oh about lost the camera you can tell that the Bluetooth setting is is on there so, so anyway, very cool. So stick around and I will show you the Tasker app that I used to set up those three things. Okay, so now I want to show you how I program this tag. So you start off with uh, sending instructions to this tag, and I've been using NFC tools to do that programming. And so I'm using the version that you can get just from the Play Store, so the regular NFC tools. And in this application, this allows you to uh, read and write instructions uh, to the tags. And so I went to tasks to add a task. And then I came down here to various. And I had noticed in this list lots of different things, but there was one called tasker. So run a tasker task. Well, it turns out tasker is a whole separate application that I have uh, been practicing with. And so this tag, I basically wanted to set up so that I could experiment with a tasker tag. So you literally, you just go in here and then you would type in the name of the task that is set up in tasker a whole separate application so that was very straightforward so i put in the name of the task and then you're ready to just write write that information to the tag and again you've seen me do that in previous videos and you've seen me use this nfc tool so once you've created a task you'll have another section here that says write w-r-i-t-e so that you can then send those instructions to the tag and it's very straightforward so for this one this tag all it's doing is it's running a tasker um, task. So Tasker, it turns out, is a very complex um, application, and it's one that I did um, have to purchase. I think it was $3.99, something like that, just a few dollars, um, and so in the Google Play Store, and uh, I think it's definitely worth it. It has a lot that you can do to automate things on Android phones with inside of Tasker. And so it's independent of these NFC tags. You can do all kinds of things in Tasker itself. And probably these, these tasks that I did in the car, probably could have done it without the NFC tag. But uh, again, I'm just experimenting and having fun. But there's a lot more to this program um, that I don't fully understand yet. But just let me show you the basics. So I had gone to Tasker. Um, I went to Tasks. And this is the one 
that is um, doing those actions for me. And so this particular task is doing three things. Uh, if Bluetooth is not already on, it's going to turn on Bluetooth. It's doing the connection in the car to the very specific Bluetooth uh, device. And so you'll need to know your Bluetooth setting to use. And then it's launching an app. And so the Amazon Music was in the list of available apps that it just turns on for you. And so this tag... This tag is running this task or task, which does these three steps. So it's, it's really pretty cool. But but I will tell you, there is quite a bit of learning curve uh, to Tasker. Um, it's quite complex. There's a lot it can do. So let me just go through the motions here of this one. So for Tasker, so in Tasker, you can go in to create a new task. And I went straight to this create. This tasker net is awesome. You can take a look at things that other people have created. But I went to create. And then you give it a name. You can call it, you can call it anything you want. And so like maybe I'll just do car, car audio. You name it whatever you want. And then that is the task that the tag could could execute and so inside of this task you can have multiple actions so we're going to add our first action and then here you'll notice all the many things um, but this first action was under net to bluetooth and i had it set the bluetooth on and that's the only thing i did and then so that's my first action then I did the second action, which was also under net and Bluetooth connection. And then this has a lot of information. Again, many of these variables I don't fully understand, but you do need to know the name of the Bluetooth connection that you're going to use. Um, that's the most basic thing. And so I just set up an action to connect. There's different choices here, but I set up an action to connect to that Bluetooth device and so you would you would need to know what your bluetooth device is i'm just going to put something in and um just to pretend and then you can set you know how many how long do you want it to keep retrying that and if it an error occurs you can have it do something different but i just did literally the basics connect to this device and then that sets up the second action and then the third action was simply to go to app and to launch an app and it gives you a list of many different apps that may be installed in your phone and so all i had to do was tell it to launch amazon music and i just left all the default settings here and then that was it so if if you have tasker if you choose to buy that program it can do a lot of things for you. This one was fairly simple. I have three actions and one task. You give the task a name, and then whenever you program your NFC tag, just tell it to launch the tasker task with that name. So in my case, I used turn on the music, and so this tag is launching a tasker task called turn on the music. So very cool. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and that these are a lot of fun for you to go out and try and do some of your own NFC tag programming. Please hit subscribe if you like it and stay tuned. My next one I think is going to be really, really helpful. Um, so just a little teaser there. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.